Well, hello, YouTube modeling community. That's right, it's the fat man from Alabama coming to you. Well, actually, an extension of Don's Garage. This is uh, my build table in my room, and we're basically doing a final on this little Revell 29A model Roadster. <clears throat> it kept fought me a little bit, but I think it's more uh, actually more on me. I mean, <clears throat> this is. <clears throat> This isn't just the first model I've completed this year. This is the first model I've completed in years. Uh, and it's not 100% done. I broke the steering link that goes in here. It's broke. A new one is painted. I'll get it on back. I'll get it on here eventually. But like I said, it is primarily box stock. Um, I rated the 32 grill shell from the 30 coupe kit. For this one, <clears throat> just used the kit small block and the three twos. Wanted to build something in more of a traditional look. And it's got the kit white wall decals on the kit tires. Um, the pinstriping on the deck lid, I'm not sure if it comes from the kit or if it's out of my decal box. But some of the stuff has gotten mixed up. Uh, but a nice simple build. It I got it relatively clean. I'm pleased with it. It's going to look good sitting on my shelf. Uh, we'll just give it a slow turnaround here. Give you an idea of what all's been done. I did strip the chrome off the headers. Painted them flat white. Um, had a little bit of a difficult time picking out what headlights because it does come with three sizes. These are the medium. Um. I, I like big headlights. These seem to blend in on the front end well enough. That's what I went with. Uh, couldn't decide on what to do headlight wise, so I put the lenses in all three pair and figured when it come when they were dry and ready to put on, then I'd make my final decision. Uh, this evening I got the headlights done. I got the grill, the windshield windshield frame put in. I did have an issue the Neither the 30 or the 29 had a radiator hose that seemed to fit. I'm sure it's something I've done, but I made one out of a piece of wire, solid core wire. Uh, it's, you know, black vinyl covered. It worked out pretty good. <clears throat> There's, uh, I took a few creative liberties, I guess you could call it. Uh, whatever it is. <clears throat> The underside, I decanted some of the color on this thing is the uh, Testers Extreme Lacquers Inca Gold. I sprayed some into a jar and brushed it into <clears throat> into the fins on the valve cover, on the oil pan, the trans pan, and the valve covers. Uh, the exhaust is all done in flat white all the way to the back. Um, a little black wash on the rear coilovers. If it will focus, there we go. Black wash the coilovers. Put a little decal on the uh, rear end housing. A little pin striping there. The brake drums are done with the Molotov pin. The back and plates are painted body color. Um, again, these are all parts that come in the kit. Just a simple. Fun build, got me back at the bench working. There's a decent close-up of the pinstriping, which is under the clear. The interior, again, is all out of the box. I two-toned it flat white, and then the body color, um, again, with the decanted, with the jar of decanted color, I did the steering wheel, did the... Uh, Two raised areas in the dashboard. I got the shift shifter decal kind on it. It slid to the side, I see. I've added another one of the pinstripes is there on the cowl. Um, the parts box, it's actually off a slick sheet. Gave up the, uh, supplied me with a, well, let's see if we can get it to line up here. The flying eyeball there on the cowl, got that on both sides. Some more pinstriping done on the frame rail. 
right in here. <clears throat> um, took a little bit of the gold paint, painted the center in the center cap. The uh, engine straight out of the box. And we don't want to focus now. Boy, the lighting's not good either, fellas. Sorry about that. And yeah, this is a little better. Get a better idea what I did with the motor. Again, it's all right out of the box. The flying eyeball here on the grill shells out of the, again, is out of my decal box. Just an added touch. Um, little things like that I like to do. The big mistake I made in building is I left the distributor out of the motor and by the time I realized it was out, it was too late. The cow, the motor sets back in the firewall deep enough. No good. The Molotov pin was used to paint. The Molotov pin was used to paint the spreader bar. Um, took took some more of the gold paint. Painted the inlay in the front axle. Uh, I've seen that done on the real one, so I'll give it a little contrast. The shock mounts, I cleaned them up and painted them body color um, to blend into the chassis more so. Again, just subtle little building. Um, nothing over the top. <clears throat> just trying to build a nice, clean, decent looking little model. There it is. She's no show winner, but she looks good on the table. She'll look good on the, once once this shelf queen hits the shelf, she'll look fine blended in with the rest of them. Well, that's about all I got on this one tonight, fellas. Uh, it's been kind of a long day. Haven't been real spunky. Tried to do a couple of videos and just, when I watched the replay, they just, they weren't going to cut it. So, I'll try to do redo those tomorrow. Well, folks, if you like what you see, um, consider subbing my channel, hit the like button, comment below, drop a comment below. I love reading your comments, good or bad. I can take creative criticism. Uh, feel up to it, share it with your friends. And uh, remember, build the model for you. All right, fellas, live, love, and laugh. Let's enjoy life and this hobby. This is Don checking out. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.